As soon as my agent indicated that Arsenal was interested, this vague memory that had been lurking there suddenly came to mind. It just seemed to fit. During our Zoom chat, Mikel Arteta thoroughly described the proposal to me. Arsenal wasn't doing well at the moment. They were in the bottom half of the table, like 15th, but that meeting. I genuinely dare anyone who meets with Arteta to leave the conversation doubting anything he says. He is top-notch. To explain is challenging. He is intense, enthusiastic, and even a little crazy. Nonetheless, you realize that whatever he says will happen when he talks. He explained to me his strategy and everything he was working toward. He was fully aware of the changes that the club required. He filled me in on all of the fantastic young members of the team, including Saka, Martinelli, Smith Rowe, etc. He explained to me how I should fit in and how I should develop. I had a gut instinct that he was onto something truly extraordinary. Although I didn't need any more persuasion, I also received a ton of messages encouraging me to sign from Arsenal supporters on Instagram. Not just me, but also my entire family, close friends, and everybody I follow. Such a wonderful, engaged fan base. People I don't know well would show me how their posts comments were rife with phrases like get Martin to sign with Arsenal. That was simply. Wow. Since I've been here, the fans have been incredible, I have to say. Perhaps some people don't think that matters to us as players, but it does. Every time you make a tackle at the Emirates to knock the ball out for a throw-in, the entire crowd claps as if you just scored a goal. They instill in you the belief that you are capable of anything. When we finished ninth at the end of my first season in 2020-21, it appeared that no one at the club had lost faith in what we were doing. Everyone had faith in us. Everything fit into the plan. Even during the extremely challenging past season. It goes without saying that we were disappointed to miss out on Champions League qualification when it was in our grasp, but we took something positive away from the experience. We returned more in tune, hungrier, and stronger. Although there is still a long way to go and no one is yet considering May, we are now in the title race. Although it is cliché, we are taking it one game at a time and training session at a time. Every part separately. There are no boundaries to what we can accomplish, I'll say that much. If there's somebody out there who still doesn't fully believe in this team, take it from me. Nobody can refute this for me. I feel like I'll be the club captain for a very long time and I'm incredibly proud to hold that position. I had the opportunity to chat with Wenger after the victory against West Ham on Boxing Day. It was the first time he had visited the Emirates since 2018 and the first time I had seen him since that steak and fries encounter all those years ago. He said he had closely followed my career even after I decided to move to Madrid during our enjoyable conversation. He was honest and admitted that he had formerly been concerned about how things were going for me, but that he is now overjoyed to see that I am flourishing in the appropriate setting. I feel like I'll be the club captain for a very long time and I'm incredibly proud to hold that position. Martin Dagegaard. He had picked up on something. Everything seems to have a transitory quality ever since I left Norway. It's critical that I now have the steadiness and genuine connection I lacked earlier. I get this time to myself every time I lead the squad out at the Emirates. I want to really feel the energy coming from the spectators and the atmosphere. Every time they play North London forever over the speakers, I listen and begin to hum along. I always get goosebumps when I do. I close my eyes and picture myself as a youngster playing on the drama and artificial field. If you had shown the child a picture of this situation and told him something similar lay ahead for him in the future, he gave his life to prevent this. I've come a long way, but now I'm living my dream. I'm at home. Even better is yet to come.